Revelation 15, 4. Who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. So who will not fear? All will come and worship. So three times, fear, worship, fear, worship, fear, worship. But now there is a great fear-transforming reality, isn't there? fear-transforming reality. Why is it that in worship, Christian sings and sing, Christians sing and Muslims don't? Why did Christianity produce centuries of music, high music, low music, middle music, happy music, sad music, music everywhere Christianity goes, people sing why? Because fear has been totally transformed by Jesus. It's because of a Lord's Supper. It's because of a crucified Savior that Islam does not believe in. And without a crucified Savior bearing all the wrath of Allah, Allah will not be sung to. He will be trembled over, and maybe you'll kill yourself while killing others in order possibly to get into some paradisical relationships. Oh, how sad is that religion. Bear witness to your Muslim friends the good news that the God who made heaven and earth has sent his one and only Son to bear his wrath that we might not have to bear it and that we can trust him and know the wrath has been relieved and lifted. The guilt is gone. There is no condemnation. And all my trembling is not trembling out of uncertainty whether I'm going to fall off the ledge. Rather, it's become the sweet trembling of awe and wonder and thanks that I'm not going to fall off the ledge, but I was so close and I was just like all those sinners, but by grace alone I stand here. Oh, how can we not tremble with happiness? 